morning, Rebels. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Good morning teachers. At this time, please allow your students to use their cell phones and any computers that are available in the classroom for the following activity. Raising student voice and participation is encouraging you to sign the petition that will support school building upgrades and investment in tech infrastructure so students throughout AUHSD will learn in safe, updated schools and use the right tools to acquire 21st century skills. All you will need to do is to go on auhsdrepairourschools.org, click Savannah High School, and fill out the information needed. As of now, we have about 90 signatures from Savannah alone. We want to at least break 150, 150 signatures by today. For more information, visit the website. Thank you for cooperating and supporting high-quality public education. Attention Gear Up students, the P20 Web Sustainability Conference will take place Saturday, May 23rd at the Cal State Fullerton. Three of our Savannah students will be delivering their TED-like talks. If you haven't turned your permission slip, please stop by the Gear Up office during lunch. Bus departs Savannah at 7.30 a.m., so don't be late. Reminder to all Sociedad members, there is a meeting this Friday, May 23rd, 2014. Please try to get there as soon as possible. Make sure to turn in your money if you haven't done so already. Oh, so out of control, singing the shames. Attention juniors, the Tiger Woods Learning Center is offering a week-long College Pound Academy this summer from the July 14th to the 18th. The program will have an informative workshop and group sessions on topics ranging from writing a personal statement, creating a college list, applying for scholarships, and writing an academic resume. Classes will be held every Thursday. And Thursday includes a trip to Disneyland for a workshop on Disney's approach to leadership and teamwork. As a student in the summer program, you will be invited to attend the bi-monthly workshops in the fall that will cover topics from common application, financial aid, and the letters of recommendation. Students will also have the opportunity to hear from college representatives who visit Tiger Woods Learning Center to recruit students. A $10 fee is required upon application submissions. See Ms. Stocky in the Student Center for an application. Rebels, a reminder to all current 10th and 11th graders, the crew applications are due today. If you still need one, they are in the Student Center. Attention CSF members, there will be a meeting on Friday, May 22nd in room 906 during lunch. This meeting is important since it's the end of the year. See you there. STEM Youth Conference at Fullerton College is Saturday, May 31st. It is the date of interactive workshops at Fullerton College where you will learn about career in STEM along with 300 other students from the area. Stop by the Gear Up office for an application. Attention all returning members of the girls volleyball team. There will be a Summer League informational meeting on Friday at lunch in room 53. Please arrive quickly after getting your lunch. Hey seniors, this is what you will wear for our Spirit Week next week. Tuesday, rock your college gear, but make sure to follow all dress codes. <laughs> Wednesday is Disney Day. Don't forget your ears. Thursday, swim with your friends. I love you, twins! <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, make sure you wear your favorite Hawaiian shirt for Senior Luau. Come on, boy, girl! NHS members, we will be having a general meeting on Tuesday, May 27th at lunch in the choir room. Please turn in your money for the banquet and stoles and bits for the seniors. We will also be discussing our final events, so please be prompt. The Savannah softball team, who is now 25-2, beat Marlboro of Los Angeles by a score of 2-0 in the second round of the CIF Division 5 playoffs yesterday. 
Sophomore pitcher Jezebel Quintana pitched a complete game shutout while allowing only four hits. Quintana picked up her 19th win of the season against only one defeat. Kristen Worley, who had two hits and scored both of the runs of the host Rebels, Janine Worley had the base hit and a crucial bunt of rally to rally the Rebels, the team who is now statistically the best softball team Savannah has ever had. Plays Saturday against Silverado of Victorville at home in the quarterfinals of the CIF playoffs. Great job, Lady Rebels, and good luck on Saturday. That'll do for today. Rebels have a no school on Monday, Friday.